royal wedding, Elizabeth and David Emmanuel became the most talked about and envied designers in the world, as over 500 million people saw Princess Diana in the gown created for her by uh, these two up-and-coming designers, young ones, too. Uh, since then, the Emanuels have gone on to become two of the leading society designers in the world today. They're in Australia at the moment for the Women's Weekly Fashions Awards, uh, which are on on Friday night, by the way, at 8.30 on, uh, on Channel 9. And it'll be a, a heck of an evening with the, uh, the best in the world's fashion and Australian fashion. We're delighted to have them with us tonight. So, say hello. Elizabeth and David Emmanuel. Here. <laughs> Well, how are you? Have you had a, an opportunity to settle in here to Australia a little Just bit? Just about, I think. It's yes. wonderful. Very warm. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Well, you're catching the good weather in Melbourne. Actually, the weather has been reversed here. Sydney's had all the rain, and they've had all the great weather down in Melbourne. Uh, everybody complains, it's... each side. If we're here, everybody complains about the weather. If we're in Sydney, they complain about the weather. Sydney yeah. and Melbourne spend their lives complaining really? about each other. <laughs> yes, they do that all the time. How did this all come about, uh, uh, doing the, uh, the wedding gown for... Uh, it the... seems like years ago. Um, basically, English Vogue magazine rang us up and they said, uh, do we have a blouse for a personality shot? So we said, we'd heard this line before. Do you have a, a what? Do we have a blouse to and wear? Oh, a blouse, yeah. yeah a blouse and they wouldn't wear. say who it was for because they're very secretive sometimes. So. I see. In case the shot doesn't work out, you know. So we said, well, what color has the, what color is the model hair? And they said it was blonde and various things. So we sent off the blouse and, uh, Two months later, it was featured in, in Vogue on Lady Diana then. Did and you suspect uh, beforehand that perhaps maybe this was the case? Or? No, because the, they're very good at being secretive. Mm. Uh. But we basically, had hoped, actually. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but basically, they said um, at the sitting, apparently, with Lord Snowden was taking the pictures. Uh, apparently, she asked one of the fashion editors whose blouse it was, and it was explained that it was ours. Mm. And she apparently asked, how did she get in contact? And basically rang up and made an appointment and came in. Mm. Did you know her before? Had you ever met her? No, no we hadn't. No. no. Your, your shop is where? In uh, Brook Street. I should call it a shop. Is it, would you call it? You wouldn't call it a shop. Well, a workroom salon. Yeah. yeah. Right. I see. Oh, this is it here. Yeah. But people can have a look at it while we're talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, As you see, it's, it's tiny. I'm homesick. <laughs> right. it's, it's tiny. And, and basically, because it's on the first floor upwards, mm. you have to press the buzzer. And because we're so small, you, it, it's preferred if you make an appointment, really. You, you met, uh, the two of you met at a school of design and you're married and this is a successful business, uh, yeah. the, the business and the marriage and yourself and all well, together. Well, hopefully, yeah, so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 24 hours a day. Because does, a, does a lot of business come to you when, uh, when you have, uh, it becomes known that you have designed something like this? Does this increase your business? Well, I mean, because as I explained, we're such a small house. Um, no, and we're su such a small team. I mean, there's 10 of us all together, we really including can't Elizabeth can't and myself. Anymore. Mm. And we can only take on as much work as we can. That, that's the couture business. Mm. But now we want to sort of get into licensing and various other things. And hopefully, I mean, everybody complains that our dresses are so expensive. Right. So now if you can get them, a ready-to-wear collection out to the public. Well, that puts you in a different class, of course, when, when it is expensive and exclusive. Uh... Mm. Well, the thing is, they're all handmade. They take ages and ages to make. And there is only one of each one. They're quite which unique. Is unlike, um, say, French couture, where they'll do a few of each right. design. How long did it take you to do the wedding gown? From the day of the announcement to the day of the wedding, all that amount of time. What is that? That's about six I mean, if we, if we weren't actually uh, working on it, we were planning, you know, how to keep press out of the building and... Yeah, yeah it was, I, I, it was so such much fun. going on. There was a story about decoys, something about you, you made other gowns so people would think that's what it was going to be. We made up such stories. We were awful, really. <laughs> well, it's, it's supposed to be a highly kept secret, isn't it? Yeah, mm. absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we were determined because there were mm. so many bribes and, and, I mean, it was very hard. I mean, all the ladies who worked for us, I mean, suddenly they would arrive to work one day and there was somebody outside with a suitcase with £35,000 in hard cash. But just yeah. to give them an idea just, what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah, but they were wonderful, our girls. They, they were, were marvelous. amazing. We I just mean, they, laughed, they took you know? the money and told them nothing. <laughs> 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 but the funniest thing was, well, we, the dress was so secret. We had security guards and we didn't even tell them. We wouldn't let them see the dress or anything. And um, we thought we ought to put the dress in a safe. So we had the man come to measure up our staircase to make sure he could get the safe up the stairs. Mm. Uh, they came and they measured it and they 
Eventually they bought this enormous, great big steel safe. And then they found they couldn't get it up the stairs after all, and we were trying to be so discreet, nobody was supposed to know about it. In the end, they had to uh, haul it up through the windows. But the crane. Oh, the yeah, the yeah, crane. The crane. Yeah, and there was thousands of people outside, and it was supposed to be so secret. Yelling, they're going to put the dress in yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then there were stories about Alsatian dogs that were supposedly guarding the building. And we never said that. And um, we do things like... Um, getting different colour threads and leaving them lying around the building because not everybody inside knew what the dress was like. And oh, we thought, well, if anything gets out, it might be the colour because, you know, a machinist might take out some thread on her clothing. So we would drop bits of different colour thread all, all over the place. This is like a secret service thing, the FBI or it something. It was a bizarre time. I mean, every morning we'd arrive and uh, you'd see people rummaging through the bins outside, you know, oh, yeah. the waste disposal things. I mean, it was crazy. Who has, who, has the, who has the final say on... Now, I don't mean to put you in a position. I don't, no, no. I don't want to do that because there's a lot you can't talk about. People have oh, to understand yes. that. We have to be careful about yes. what we say and what we do. Right. But who has the final say on the design? Who had the final say on the design? The three of us. Well, the dress was made for the princess, and she, she was the most important person, you know. And it ultimately had to suit her. I mean, obviously... And the decision was left to her? Uh, well, there was well, did she have to go was, higher? Or, you don't know. We don't Those know. are three of us, really. We oh, all yeah. got together very quietly. No fuss, no, you know, razzmatazz. And what about the day itself? Or where were you on the day itself? We were there, right there, at St Paul's. Yes. Right by the doors, as she yeah. arrived at the steps. Well, oh, that's to help or something, is it? Yes, because we, uh, she had to get out the carriage, and it was a rather large dress and a rather small carriage. So um, our job was to straighten her out as she came to the top of the stairs. Before she so, went down um, the aisle. They, uh, we weren't supposed to be on camera, but I think they did get us in the end. But, um, so we straightened out the train, and the bridesmaids were terrific, actually, because, I mean, to manoeuvre that train round. But they were fantastic. Did the, did the BBC announcer say that David and Elizabeth Emmanuel adjusting the dress? Well, we didn't know. I mean, the most funniest thing was we didn't know all this was going on, and we were shuffling around, you know, doing it. And we got back that afternoon about 4.30, and all the girls said, we saw you on TV. <laughs> and I said, no, you shouldn't have seen me on TV. <laughs> There's 500 million people watching. Just, you a, few. Yes. Oh, yes. just <laughs> a few. Well, you're here for the Fashion Awards, which yeah. I understand is going to be a terrific night. Well, we hope so. We, we've been hunting around all the stores, looking at what's around and seeing You've as much as we can. There's some very exciting things in the shops. There's some very exciting designers in this country, yeah. uh, you know, who have really carved out a name for themselves here so as well. We, we're so we're so. just busting to see it. And they will all be there and, uh, yeah. on Friday night. It should be fun. Yes. Okay, well, all the best. Have a lovely stay. Thank you. Thanks. And I hope it continues. And if I go to London, I'll come in your shop and get fitted for a frock. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Thank David. Pleasure. Uh, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Stay there. The Fashion Awards are on uh, Friday night, March the 26th at 8.30 p.m. on GTV9. We'll be back after these words, and then we got our live spot. Hey.